In this clip, we will see how simultaneous equations can be solved using prism. Some work is already done here and this was not deleted because that's part of the demonstration itself. So if you have solved something and you have uh, you want to clear it, you can either use delete or clear. Clear will simply take the coefficients of it is at F3 location. So if I say clear, the coefficients are gone. Then you can start input, inputting uh, new coefficients if the system is of the same type. But let's delete everything and start over absolutely afresh. So F1 deletes. So I'm going to delete. Now there is nothing in the memory. Now this is where it begins. But even before this, if you exit this, this is where you start. So you have the main menu. You choose equation mode or the application. Execute it. This is the first screen. Because this is calculator, you will not have too much information on the screen. So you have to carefully read what it says. It says if you choose F1, F2, F3 keys, these are the options. Simultaneous polynomial and solver. We are interested in simultaneous equation. So I am going to click F1. And it says that simultaneous, no data in memory, number of unknowns. We have a system with two unknowns. So I am going to choose two unknowns. But let's first see where the system is. Here it is. There are two equations here. 5y equals 3 minus 2x. 3x equal to 2y plus 1. Certainly the system is two unknowns, two equations. Now, if you go back to calculator, you can choose the two by clicking F1. Then you see what you get here is equation has to be in this form. AX plus BY equals C. And then you can put the coefficients A, B and the C in this order. Because you should not have difficulty in transferring the coefficients in this matrix and the C constants here. Equations have to be put in this form. That will make your work very easy. So let's go back and see what the first equation is. If we have all the unknowns on left side. So that will be 2x plus 5. So 2 and 5 and 3 on the other side. So I will remember 2, 5, 3. So I am going to go back to, to enter it, execute 5 and 3. So our first equation is entered. Now we go to the second equation. We follow the same method. We have 3, bring 2y to this side, it will be minus 2. 3 minus 2, 1. So I have 3 minus 2 and 1. And all my equations are entered. But before that, see the first AB coefficient matrix is 2 by 2. 2 rows, 2 columns. To this matrix, if you multiply by a column or a matrix X, y which is two rows and one column then matrix multiplication is defined that means two by two matrix multiplied by two by one matrix and that's how you get two by one third matrix answer so we need to solve this it is at the f1 location so we click f1 and instantly the solution appears in decimal you can change this to fraction which is already shown here but let me see if I can click FD and get fraction there 
oh it changes here so anyway so this is your first solution the second solution is 7 over 19 so this is your y value and this is your x value now this is end of the solution if you wanted to repeat then you could click f1 and go back and substitute coefficients for another system if it was again two equations to unknown system but we will do one example where we have three equations three unknowns so we need to delete this everything and now we have three equations three unknowns so i am going to choose f2 again i get this matrix so i am going to go and get my coefficients here 2 minus 1 1 3 so i say 2 minus 1 1 3 my second equation is 1 3 minus 2 11 1 3 minus 2 11 and my third equation is 3 minus 2 4 1 3 minus 2 4 and 1 so I have entered everything so I need to solve I press F1 and I get x equals 3 y equals 2 and z equals minus 1 and if you check the answers you should be able to get 3 to minus 1 and so this is how the solution can be obtained and this is end of the clip.